Hello everyone, this is Ed from Soloed Quest and uh, welcome to a new unboxing video for Zatu Games. Today we're taking a look at uh, Fallout New California. This is the first box expansion for the Fallout board game from uh, Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, well, this came out kind of recently. Uh, I'm quite interested in this, uh, this expansion. Uh, well, Fallout, uh, some people love it, some people don't love it as much. Um, this expansion brings a new, uh, some new things into the game. It brings a co-op um, co mode, which uh, I think is uh, highly appreciated by a lot of people. So I think it's a pretty interesting expansion uh, that uh, brings some interesting ideas to, to the game. So yeah, quite eager to get a look at what's inside here. Uh, I'm actually, I think, in my opinion, Fallout miniatures are one of my favorites from uh, from the Fantasy Flight um, catalog, at least from the games I own. I really don't own them, own them all, so I, I can't speak for all of their games. But for the ones I own, um, Fallout miniatures do stand out. They are quite, quite beautiful, and there's quite a few uh, cool miniatures inside of this box. So um, instead of actually talking about them, let me show them um, these miniatures to you. So let's get this plastic out of here and actually take a look at what's inside this box. There we go. So in terms of the cover, it's, uh, well, nothing to write home about, but it's a pretty cool cover. It's right in the theme of Fallout. So we have Vault 44, um, the vault door right here on our, our cover. So I guess it's a pretty uh, okay box art. Uh, in terms of the, the sides, I like them a lot more. So we have our, uh, well, I don't know what this is, the diner, some sort, in the Fallout universe. And here we have our dog. So all of these are, um, are uh, for horizontal storage. So we don't have, really have a vertical option, uh, which is a shame, but oh well, it's, it's an expansion. So I guess it's, uh, it's okay not to have that option, I would say. So let's actually take the cover out if we can. The box did took a little bit of a beating. There we go. Managed to get it out. So Fallout New California components. Let's just take a quick look on this list. So we have 12 map tiles. Again, beautiful map tiles for sure. A Fallout has beautiful, beautiful. I mean, the map tiles are amazing. I love them. Um, I, I love the, the Fallout universe. So uh, I think in terms of um, the visual and uh, component wise, they did it justice. It's, uh, it's pretty good. It looks amazing and feels amazing. So we have new six scenario sheets. We have five plastic figures, some enemy tokens, and then a whole bunch of cards for wasteland settlement, vault cards. We have 32 quest cards. Special cards, well, a whole lot of stuff. New perks, unique assets, um, new caps, well, a lot of things. Additional rules, well, we have some of the new things right here. We have new California rules as well, uh, in terms of setup, in terms of victory and loss, when we are killed, at the end of the round, the agendas, well, there's some new stuff, as you can see, in uh, in this game. So, let me actually show you the components, which, uh, well, in a first glimpse, they look very nice. So, we have two, oh, three, actually. We have three sheets with tokens. There's a bit of glare, so I'll take this plastic off and actually show you this a bit more properly. And there we go. So, we have some map tiles in here. They follow kind of like in the same the same look of the original game. So very detailed, very nice looking. There we go. We have a dead end crossing on this board. Hands meet and boxcar. So yeah, all again, very nice looking. We have a new token right here for these dudes which has a Myrlurk Queen. There we go, kind of a boss. And one of these, which is actually a Robo Brain. <laughs> so yeah, a whole bunch of stuff, uh, new tokens. There you go, I'm not going to show you one by one. There's no point. You already know them probably if you're looking at the expansion unboxing. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, the artwork, it just, 
again it just follows along that uh, Fallout franchise, the the brand that you guys are probably familiar with. So a, lot, a, a few more tokens here, the Nuka Cola. Again, more tiles. Actually, the map tiles are the, probably the most interesting and the ones you are most interested to see. I'm guessing. So let me just show you those ones. The hole right here, Vault Seven. There we go. We can pay it a visit. Uh, there's this one, kind of a junk. Well, not the junk. A little bit of a settlement, but kind of in a bad shape. And then we have the Palisades right here. And again, on the other side, there we go. We have a fire ant in terms of enemies and a blood bug. bug. So yeah. Also new enemies in the game in the expansion. Um, again, another map tile, the hub. We have also a uh, Rayo. I don't know how you actually read this. Arroyo or Rayo, I don't know. Some more Nuka Cola tokens here and here. These are probably quantum colas, is it? Not sure. Uh, new enemy, which is actually let me take it out. It's an acolyte. There we go. And uh, yeah. Quite a few new things. Oh, I didn't show you this one, did I? New California Republic. Well, there you go. So we were looking for New California. We got it. And actually Vault 44, which is also on this map tile. So quite a few interesting uh, map locations. So oh, I didn't show you this monster, uh, this enemy, the Super Mutant Behemoth. Um, quite a few new locations to, to explore in the game again, which is very nice. This is uh, actually a game about exploration. So it would make sense to have new 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 map tiles and we have new there we go new um, characters that we can use as well and again the miniatures look amazing i'm a huge fan of the work they did with the fallout miniatures so we have this guy which i don't know who he is but there he is there his <laughs> here's his miniature i'm sure we'll get to see uh, who he is in a second there's this dude as well with a rifle very detailed. I really like the quality on these. I hope this isn't... Yeah, it's focusing all right. And we have this one. This one lo looks really cool. She has like a zapper. I really like the look on this one. I think it's my favorite mini from the game. And then, well, I don't know if it's my favorite because this one looks very, very cool. Kind of like a Brotherhood. Um, soldier, I'm not sure if it is a Brotherhood Soldier, it probably is, it looks amazing. And then there's this one which I, I love, this is, yeah, this is my favorite one from the game. Kind of a, it's a robot, a kind of a Cogsworth robot, I'm sure it's not Cogsworth exactly, but it does seem like him. Really, really cool. Again, five miniatures of very high quality, in my opinion. I really love the look on these. So what else? Let me show you actually the scenarios first, which are six, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember well from what the rulebook said. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, it's six, yes, good memory. So <laughs> Rise of the Master, um, that's one of the scenarios. It involves the Brotherhood of Steel, uh, I guess, and the Unity, there we go. So Rise of the Master, just to show you a quick glimpse. Then we have New California. It's a cooperative, um, cooperative play. So it's, uh, I guess, it's one of the new uh, scenarios that allows for cooperative play in Fallout, which is very nice, a very cool addition. So in here, Capital Wasteland, we have the Brotherhood of Steel and the Enclave, which will be running around. There we go. Then the Pit which has the rebel slaves and the slavers factions in there. There we go, and here's the map. A lot of new stuff. The Commonwealth with the railroad and the Institute. And here is the map. I'm guessing most of these have co-op. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not just, I don't know, maybe it might be, I don't know. I, I won't actually talk without knowing, so I don't know if all of these support co-op or not. But since there was one referring to co-op and the others don't, that's weird, I gotta say. But well, in any case, uh, we have the last one, which is Far Harbor. Uh, it was actually an expansion for Fallout 4. And yeah, Far Harbor and Children of Adam. And there we go, here is the map. So, more replayability into your game, besides having more of these characters. 
you have more map tiles, you have the co-op options, and you have, well, new tokens, new enemies, and new cards as well, which we are going to take a look at. So, we have new perks, along with this uh, Fallout. Again, the, the card backs are lovely. FFG has been really uh, pushing themselves with the card backs. They were kind of bland a few, uh, some years ago, not too long ago. I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of the, the back of the FFG cards, but nowadays I love, I love those, uh, these backs. So, abilities, um, perks, not perks, uh, I forgot the name. Never mind, let's move on. Ricochet, <laughs> we have moving targets. Nerd Rage, Lady Killer Black Widow. We have Camera Resistant. We have Concentrated Fire, and we have Heavy Lifter. So these are our new... Actually, let me see the name, because this is shameful. Our perks, yes, they are perk cards. Uh, besides that, well, we have quite a few of these uh, assets. We have a lot of new assets. We have a Missile Launcher, a Flamer, a Harpoon Gun, very nice. Rockville Slugger. There we go. Is there Negan in this game? We have John Cassidy, he's the companion. We have Ian, Bear Trap, Fragmentation Grenade, a Cryo Grenade, Bobby Pin, 10mm pistol, pistol, a Hunting Rifle, a 44 pistol, Detective Coat, Flight's Helmet, we have Harold, who is also a companion here. We have Junk, well, we have a lot of stuff. Cap Stash, Purified Water, Red X, Mad X. As you can see, like all Stealth Boy, Nuka Cola, a lot of items that, uh, well, you'll know them from, from playing the Fallout uh, video games. If you didn't play the video games, well, we, you are going to get very familiar with um, the lore and the regular stuff that usually appears in these games. Because, yeah, the board game really does, uh, <laughs> I like this guy, uh, he's a Death Claw companion, what the hell. I was not expecting this. Um, Tesla armor, cool. So yeah, as I was saying, the board game does, I mean, uh, in terms of lore, it's really uh, faithful to the video games and to the Fallout lore in general, which is not just in video game form. So, I mean, you do have, you do get, in, in that sense, you, you oh, Lady Butterheat heart, <laughs> cool. So you do get a, a package that is really faithful to the, um, to the Fallout universe. In that sense, I mean, you are really, um, f you you you'll be familiar with all of this stuff. It, it'll really look familiar, and yeah, there we go. The card backs, you know them, you know these. They were in the base game, so yeah, a lot of new items in here, a lot of new, some new unique, and a lot of new companions, which is very nice to have. And last but not least, we have a low, whole bunch of cards here. Wasteland cards, settlement cards, well, a, a lot of encounter cards, as you can see. We have a few of these as well, the quest cards in the middle, and vault cards, look at these. We're getting a whole lot of these. So I think it's uh, yeah, 66 encounter cards that we have here. Well, I'm not really going to show you the encounters, that's kind of spoilerish. So no point in me showing you these, okay? I, I won't, uh, there's no point, so I won't bother. But yeah, you'll get 66 encounter cards in the game. 25 of these are Wasteland, 22 are Settlement, and 19 are Vault. And also 32 of these uh, quest cards, and there should be special ones in here. Somewhere, because this is kind of jungle mished and meshed, and Vault cards as well. Yeah, the special ones are, well, I don't know. Somewhere around here, but there are supposed to be a few special cards in here as well. So yeah, that's what you uh, get in a Fallout New California, a whole new uh, bunch of stuff to use. Five new characters um, to, to use, uh, five figures, five very high quality figures. You get six scenarios, you get a whole bunch of new uh, assets, six new perks. Uh, new map tiles, of course, and yeah, a lot of uh, new encounter cards to use in your games. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm quite eager to actually use this expansion and uh, go back to Fallout and play it a little bit more. Um, hopefully, this actually improves the experience a little bit more. Uh, the game is good, but well, it could uh, use it could use a little bit of improvement from an expansion. Let's see if Fallout New California delivers that. Um, that, uh, that push that the game kind of needed, in my opinion. But in terms of solo, uh, it's, a, it's good. It's actually uh, a very good uh, solo game. So yeah, that was the unboxing for Fallout New California, the first 
uh, box expansion for uh, Fallout the board game from Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, if you're interested and curious about this expansion and actually you want to try it out yourself instead of waiting for my review, uh, well you guys can go and uh, actually uh, follow the link in the description. Uh, it'll take you to the item in Zatu Games. You can actually buy it in Zatu Games store. It, the link will be on the description. But yeah, that's it for me uh, today. I hope I'll be able to bring you a review uh, soon for Fallout New California and actually give you my impressions if this is the expansion that uh, Fallout the board game uh, actually needed to, uh, well, I don't know, improve a bit more on uh, the content and on the end game, which is kind of like uh, most, uh, most people's pains with the game. So yeah, I will then see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.